Hi everyone, and welcome to another McCormick Museum Two Minute Tour. I'm Chris, and I'll be your guide and your equestrian expert, because today we're talking about Colonel McCormick's horses. Now, I'm standing here in the Colonel's stables, and- Excuse me, sir, where is the gift shop? Um, it's just that way. <laughs> Okay, fine, you caught me. This isn't the stables, this is the Cantini Park Visitor Center, but it used to be the stables back when the Colonel was alive. You can actually see in historic images of the Visitor Center, the stable look, the steeples that are still on the building, kind of the way the building is arched and shaped. Now, of course, it's gone through a lot of renovations in its time, and we also don't allow horses in the building anymore. There just isn't enough room for them and the people, and we can't potty train them to use the guest bathrooms. Ugh. The McCormicks loved all kinds of equestrian events. That's fancy people for horse sports. Robert specifically really liked polo. In fact, at the Oak Brook Polo Club, there's a cup named after Robert, the R.R. McCormick Cup. The McCormicks were also big into fox hunting. Now, there is a rumor that because the Colonel's first wife, Amy, loved animals so much that she forbade it from foxes actually being hunted and they more went through the ceremony of the fox hunt, although we unfortunately can't prove that. Probably one of the coolest things about Colonel McCormick's horses though is that we know most of them were named after candy bars. The two names we know for sure are Snickers and Kit Kat. Well, I better stop horsing around and head back to my desk. Thank you for joining me on another McCormick Museum two minute tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and if you never wanna miss a video from Cantini Park, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in future programs or events here at Cantini, be sure to check out cantini.org or any of Cantini's social media.